Hi, I'm Dick Slonsky, uh, Senior Analyst with ARC Advisory Group, and today I'm speaking with Mark Hammerling of Gramatech. Good morning, or good day, Mark. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, if the case may be. Um, so, Mark, I, I got a few questions for you sure. and uh, about uh, Gramatech. So, so basically, uh, give me uh, uh, a definition of, of static analysis. So static analysis is a technology that people use to find defects in source code. So you have a piece of source code that's typically just being written during the software development lifecycle, and you want to find problems in that source code. Static analysis is a completely automated process that gives you a list of problem areas in your source code that you can then go and fix. And one of the things that we see here with our uh, embedded industry customers is that there's a lot of um, source code in the entire IO, IOT value chain, right? From devices to the enterprise, from embedded to enterprise. And static analysis is a really uh, efficient way of making the source code quality higher across that entire value chain. Oh, I see. And why, why would people, why would your customers use static analysis typically? There's a, there's a couple of different reasons for that. Uh, the first one is very often there are uh, standards that they have to adhere to be it security standards, be it uh, functional safety standards that require validation of coding standards and things like that. So that's one area. But the other area is just to find bugs, to find problems in the source code, things such as buffer overruns in a piece of C or C++ code or um, maybe SQL injection in a piece of Java code. Uh, and the, the thing to keep in mind when you write source code for these important um, devices is defense in depth is something that comes up quite a lot and defense in depth is really important. You start with security from the bottom up. On top, you have a piece of source code. If that source code is bad, everything on, on, underneath it is pretty much worthless. So you have to make sure that even the, your source code is strong enough to sit on top of that uh, mm -hmm. technology I, stack. I, I see, it's a fa fairly important aspect. So do you, do you have a great example of how stack analysis works and, and how this is gonna save your customer time and money and and also their security. Yeah, absolutely. We had actually a, a great example from one of our customers, it's an industrial manufacturing equipment uh, customer. So they build really expensive machines, tens of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the lifetime of these devices, they get software upgrades. So this customer delivered a software upgrade to their end customer that was operating in a manufacturing line, and the software crashed. So the line comes to a standstill for multiple days, which is really, really expensive. Uh, in, in, in that type of use case, right? So they fix it, they find the problem, they fix it relatively quickly, but then they do a root cause analysis and say, well, how did this go through our um, quality assurance process? Mm -hmm. And during this, this discovery, they also started looking at static analysis tools. They used our tool and, and we gave them a little warning with a bit red flag on it saying, hey, there's a null point that you reference right over here. And that's what indeed crashed the machine. <laughs> and yes, an offer would definitely crash. Yeah, so if they would have used our software beforehand, they would have avoided this um, problem and, and, and avoided losing credibility with their end customer and yeah. in the end, lots of dollars. And lots of dollars, yes. So why Gramatech Code Scanner? Uh, so Gramatech Code Sonar is one of- is, or Excuse is our, me, it's Code Sonar. Yeah, so Gramatech Code Sonar is our static analysis tool. Uh, and it's a really deep static analysis tool, so we find up to five times more defects than some of our competitors out there. And this is a number that came from our customers. And um, so when the cost of failure is high, our customers like using our tool to, to kind of get the, the maximum amount of defect resolution in their source code. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, static analysis on source code, but also on binaries. So we, scan a we, we span a little bit of the development to operations type of um, use cases. So if you are either a software developer or you're deploying third-party code, you can use our tool to find defects in both of those, two, the, those different scenarios. So how would a typical customer get started? Uh, it's, uh, so that's the nice part. Static analysis is fairly easy to deploy. Um, if you have a software development lifecycle uh, where you, you go through a, a DevOps or DevSecOps type of workflow, you can add static analysis, or you can add Gramatech code sonar to that process, uh, press a button, and out come results, then you can start resolving your defect right away. Great. Well, Mark, thanks. You, you shine a lot of light on this and provided some clarity in this area. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. Today, I've been speaking with Mark Hammerlane of Gramatech. Thank you for watching.